Sega. We've been working together about uh, eight or nine years, I think. Mm, yeah, that's about right. And so, about uh, eight or nine years ago, the studio where Oda worked and the studio where I worked, uh, they merged together. Up until that point, um, the two of us, we didn't really... Right. Yeah, we never really talked. I just saw him around and thought, huh, he's kind of a strange guy. And Oda probably saw me around and thought to himself, that kid's pretty cocky. I was pretty cocky after all. So, let's say Oda wants to make a game, and he starts telling me about it. And I'll start getting really excited as he's explaining it. Like, yes, let's do that. That's how his ideas turn into games. Me? I'm a producer, so my approach is different. I want to release cool games as Sega products. So I'm more focused on, is it fun? Is it cool? Will people be happy when they get their hands on this? Okay, so for every game, we spend a lot of time talking about the female lead. One of us will say, well, I think so-and-so actress is hot right now. And the other one will come back with, no, I like so-and-so better. Yeah, we do that. Mostly Hollywood actresses. We'll pull out pictures to show each other. Bring out books. I think she's the one. No, 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 this one. No way, are you serious? Wait a minute, hold on. Kate. This is it. But we didn't make her identical or anything. We might change the hair length and tweak a lot of different details, lower the eyes a little bit, that sort of thing. But it might still be fun to take a look and see who you think she looks like. But for the male characters, eh, nothing like that. <laughs> Let's say something is running a little bit behind schedule. Or a game isn't quite reaching the expected quality level. I'll ask him, hey, are we going to be okay? And he'll reply, I'll take care of it. I never know what I'm going to do, but yeah, I'll take care of it. This from the guy who's sometimes incomprehensible, and I have no choice but to trust him. The I'll take care of it isn't really aimed at Nishiyama, actually. I just need to make it happen for the people looking forward to the game, not for him. That doesn't make it any easier for me. <laughs> Sometimes, you just can't tell what he's talking about. He's got something he really wants to say, and he's a really passionate guy. But the more strongly he feels about something... It's like this squeezing feeling. You can tell that he really means what he's saying, but you have no idea what he means. I tend to be a little calmer, so I take Oda's impassioned speech and break it down like what he's trying to say is... I'll be sitting next to him, and listening to him talk and thinking, uh-oh, what's he saying now? And you know, this is a full-grown adult, doing a real job. Sure, he makes games for a living, but he's still a pretty senior employee. I think I'm lucky that I get to watch someone like him in action every day. <laughs> 